Um, what area did the Gubby Gubby people live in? Um, the area of the Gubby Gubby? Well, it's kind of, the borders a little bit vary from, um, from person to person, but most people would say, and all, all of us would say that just a little bit north of, uh, just where Bravo Island finishes, yeah. the tip, and it comes down just, to, well, halfway down actually, really, and then all the way up to Fraser Island, the bottom of Fraser Island, then a little bit around, yeah. and then up to a couple of hundred kilometres south of Bundaberg, yeah. then back out to the Mary, and then back to the coast. Yeah. So it's quite a big area, yeah. and um, the Gubba Gubba homelands is, um, is really important to Indigenous people because, you know, Aboriginal people have like a... Uh, a, a very emotional connection to the to the um, to the land, yeah. and um, it's some people would say it's actually a physical connection because the same feeling applies. Like when you get sad, I'm sure that you have a sp specific place that you go to in the house, yeah. like in your bedroom or something like that. And as soon as you shut the door, you feel safe and you feel comfortable, and you're like, oh, okay, now I can be myself. Well, that applies to the whole of the Gubba Gubba country yeah. for, for Indigenous, for, for Gubba Gubba people. Yeah. Because the whole entire place was our house. Yeah. yeah. What is country? Country? Yeah. Country for me is... Country for me is so important, you know, because... You know, it is, it is not only our home, it's not only our source of food and, and source of shelter, but it's also our sense of comfort yep. to us, you know, like country is, is when you're on country, when you're on, home, on on your home ground, it's probably the same as when you're in your bedroom, you know, like you, you actually have a physical connection yep. to, that, to that space, mm. and so country to us is a physical, and country to me is a physical thing. Um, because I love, you know, going around the Sunshine Coast area and, and visiting different places and, and having a, a similar connection to all of those places. Country is also... Country is also... Well, it's a spiritual thing, um, but it's also a place of story, you know? Yeah. Country is, is... Because the mountains and the rivers and stuff are actually our stories and our stories are our country and our country and our stories are you know our way of life and our culture and our and our and our, and our sense of belonging a sense of you know like knowing where you come from is something that is very very important for all of us you know for all of us knowing our ancestors and our history you know it makes it for lack of better words it makes a brother proud you yeah, know? Like, yeah. You know? And all of those pieces of country have a have a certain story, and so when we look at those pieces of country, we are reminded of how we should behave, how we should act, yeah. what type of animals are in season, what type of birds are in season, what type of all of those things all at once. Yeah. So country is is many things, many things. Yeah. I heard the Glasshouse Mountains has a lot of significance. Glasshouse actually. Mountains yeah. have a big significance yeah. for, for Aboriginal people. Yeah. It's the story of, of how the moral of those stories, and I'll let you find out that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The moral of those stories is you know, to, to always be with your family, to protect yeah. your family, and to, to rise up, you know, like to, to, um, you know, to, to, to have courage when, when sometimes when it's really hard to have courage. Yeah. 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 Um, and what is the importance of sharing your culture with people? Our importance of sharing culture is is um, is is really important nowadays um, because we're finally um, starting to be to be recognised within our own country mm. um, and because. Because Australia has two histories, it has two it has two histories and two parts. See, our original history is here, and then you have European pe pe um, history, which is here. And with history, you have two sides of the story. 
And that's mm. really, really, you know, really important to understand because with the colonialization of Australia, those European people believed that they owned the land. They had a piece of paper from the Queen that mm. was claimed, it was claimed under terra nullia, so that means no people were here. Yeah. People had been living here for thousands of generations. Yeah. And 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 they believed that this land was theirs too. You know, so naturally there would be a conflict and 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 as and the byproducts of those conflicts is well, indigenous people weren't classed as humans until 1963, mm. and we weren't allowed to vote until 1967. But which do you think is more important, to be able to vote or to be added to the census? Yeah. To be added to the census is something that's really, really important because you're counted. Mm. And, well, that's the birth of Aboriginal funding because before then, no Aboriginal funding was available. Yeah. Um, and um, so nowadays, with all of that history in the past, people are starting to to see that there's another side of the story, that our people were people, and that our people were uh, really diverse and, you know, actually had some really cool things and some really good relationships with their land and with, mm. with regeneration and with, with caring for country. And those things are starting to become really important nowadays yeah. with, with pollution and all the rest of it. People are starting to look for alternate ways of, of, of um, sustainability. Yeah. And, and our culture, our history has a lot of those things to offer. So um, nowadays it's really important to, and it makes you proud too, to talk about your history and your culture from a people who were not allowed to do anything and yet today we, we are. Yeah. You know, it's it's great. We love this country, just want to say, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! <laughs> oi, 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 you know, like, yeah. you know, like fantastic, love this country. <laughs> um, and, it's, and, we, and it is, we're very proud to, to talk about our, some of the little things in our culture that can help all of us, you know, to, to build a mm. better community and a better Australia for, yeah. for our children. Yeah. Um, are you a spiritual person? A spiritual person? I would have to say yes. Yeah. My own spirituality um, is a bit distorted <laughs> because I'm distorted. But my truthfully, like I actually belong to Jesus, you know, like I go to church and stuff like that. I'm a terrible Christian, but but I do. I love, I, lo I love, you know, I love the Lord in that res in that sense. But I am um, not, but I do, you know. They um, with. We, in my own walk with the country and things like that, I don't separate myself from the land. You know, mm. like mm. You, you know, a lot of people will build a house and separate themselves from from the things outside. You know, and and completely build their own little tiny habitat. You know, inside their own little world. Where, well, I try not to do that. You know, like I like the wild. You know, for lack of a better world, I love I love the wild. You know, it's fun. It's it's really cool. It's it's my place, and and um, and uh, and I love my culture. You know, like my my culture, material culture, um, is still a big presence with boomerangs and spears and art and stuff like that. Spirituality culture is is there, but it's kind of replaced with Jesus, and then like um, my my um, my stories, uh, for lack of better words, my you know, totems and things like that. Like I still have them, but I just don't worship them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah.